is run by myself, Bryony, and Abby. Don't worry, you will meet us soon. So, you are here because you are interested in the new position that we have, the ASM artist role, is that correct? Great. Great. Well, I'm glad you're here for the right thing. That's a very good start. Yes, it's a very good start that you're here for the correct thing. Okay, so please just make yourself comfortable. Now, I just want to go through how this will, um go ahead. So, I will begin by asking you just some uh, general questions about you, and then Abby will ask you some more ASMR specific questions, which I'm glad you'll be looking forward to. And then, if you do well and we like you, which I'm sure you will. Um, we will then do a training and demonstration with you of some triggers, okay? Don't worry, just be yourself. This interview isn't scary. You'll be fine. Okay, so I've just got my clipboard here, okay? And I just have a few questions that I need to ask you. So, what's your full name? Yep, if you could spell it out for me. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. And I just need to take an email address. This is how we will stay in contact with you, okay? Great, yep. Mm hmm. Yep. At right. Dot com. Okay, okay. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm just going to ask you a few questions, okay? I just want to get to know you a little bit. Alright. Um, so please, just make yourself comfortable, alright? So, first of all, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Just anything at all, just something about you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. So what, what are you currently doing in life in general? Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, right, okay, well that's great. Um, do you have any goals or anything for the future or...? Mm hmm okay. Hmm, okay. How would you describe yourself in three words? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hardworking? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. And one more. Mm, okay. I can see that. Great. Okay. Well, you seem very lovely and I'm sure they're all true. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
So, what are some of your interests apart from ASMR? Just a couple. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. They sound very interesting. Mm. It's normally a good way to tell. Um, tell you about someone through their interests, so thank you so much for sharing that with us. Okay, now, hmm, I really like you, you know, you seem great, you seem like someone we could get along with, um, I really think Abby's gonna like you too. Um, okay, why do you think you would be great for this role? For the ASMRtist role, why do you think you will be good? Okay. Hmm. Okay. So you you like ASMR? You're interested in it? Okay. 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 And and would you say ASMR means? A lot to you. Mm. Okay, you're passionate about it. Mm. Passion is good. Okay, and you like to help others. Perfect. Okay. Well, you will help a lot of people, I am sure. Okay. And why? Why do you want this role aside? from helping others, aside from... Exactly. Why do, why do you want it? What would it mean to you? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I mean, I think it's good to try something new. You might be really good at it. So yeah. Okay. Hmm. Excellent. Well, they are all of the questions that I pretty much have for you. Um, I think you're great. I I honestly think you're amazing and you have such a great personality. You seem really lovely and friendly and mm, I definitely think Abby's gonna like you. Yeah. Do you have any questions for me just before? No questions. Okay. Well, no questions is good. Okay. Well, I I really like you, and I feel like Abby will too. So I think we would like to uh, progress you on this journey. And would you like to? Go to the second part of your interview. Okay, great. Well, I will send you to Abby right away. Okay. And she is going to um, ask you some more ASMR specific questions. Okay. Okay, great. Well, don't worry. Uh, you will do just fine. All right. Well, I hope all goes well, and I will see you soon for your trainer, okay? Alright, it was lovely seeing you today, and I hope all goes well for you. Alright, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, I'm Abby, it's nice to meet you. So you just had your introduction with Bryony. How did that go? Great. Now I'll be asking you a series of ASMR specific questions just to gain a little bit more of an insight into your personal ASMR style, okay? Yeah, the arts of ASMR really comes from the creator, so we're just curious about your preferences and things like that. Firstly, can you just give me a general overview of what kind of videos you are interested in making? Okay, 
Mm-hmm. Okay, just gonna take some notes. Yeah. All right. Cool. Sounds very nice. Very interesting. I can tell that you've thought about that, which is good. All right. And what are your favorite triggers? sharing that. And would you say you prefer more visual triggers or audio triggers? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what would your favorite visual trigger be? Okay. And audio. Okay. Cool. Yeah, everyone's different, so we just like to more information on that. All right. And in terms of sound, do you prefer more natural sounds or more methodical sounds? Yeah, like um, natural as in unplanned and methodical like strategic and kind of expected. Mm-hmm. I would have to agree with you on that. Makes a big difference. Okay. And could you give me just a few examples of triggers that you think work very well in combination with each other? Whether that be visual or audio or multiple visuals. Creative, yeah, I like that. Okay, and another one, if you have any, if you can think of anything. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I actually don't see that too often, but that's that's really effective. Yeah. And any more? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a classic one. Very nice. Okay. And could you give me some examples of triggers that you absolutely do not enjoy at all? Is there any anything? Would you say that you try to avoid that trigger, or um, are you okay to to experience that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you probably wouldn't implement that trigger into any of your videos. Yeah. How do you feel about um, kind of going against your own preferences to kind of do what maybe your audience would prefer, or is that something you just want to steer clear? important for you as a creator to always feel passionate about whatever you're doing in your video. So, and do you have a preference for whispering or softly speaking? Yeah, like I've been primarily softly speaking to you, but you can also go into a whisper as well if that's what you're more comfortable with. Do you have um, a preference as a viewer? Which one you you tend to lean towards more? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Personally, I I like a combination. I think it's it's nice to mix it up, and it gives your viewers some variety. So you can always kind of experiment with that. But yeah, whatever you're more comfortable with is fine as well. And 
in terms of pacing, um, do you have a tendency to enjoy ASMR that's done at a more slower pace, or just a natural pace, or even a bit quicker at a fast pace? Okay, that's good to know. And do you think you would like to create videos primarily done at that pace, or would you mix it up? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. There are a range of videos out there done at all kinds of speeds, and it just depends on your preferences, on what your viewers like. It is fun to experiment. Yeah, of course. So, um, in terms of tapping, do you prefer fingernail tapping or finger fingertip tapping? Yeah, like I'll give you an example. Just fingertip tapping like this. Sorry, my clipboard is a little rattly. Or difference there, but okay. And um, how do you feel about tapping in general? Mm-hmm. Okay. And do you often find yourself kind of tapping on things throughout the day, whether that be at your desk or um, just when you're hanging out, tapping on the on the remote on your phone? Okay. A true sign of someone that really, really enjoys ASMR. So. <laughs> okay. And what is your opinion on production quality for videos? So, do you prefer higher quality or um, do you enjoy lo fi videos? They can both be equally as effective and relaxing. So, we're just curious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. And if you do choose to make your videos in more higher quality, we can help you get set up with that, provide you all of the equipment and um, things like that. So, so don't worry about that. But just good to note that down. And do you have a preference as a viewer? Mm -hmm. Okay, so would you say that higher quality visuals are more important to you than higher quality sound, or is it the opposite, where um, you don't mind if the video quality is a little bit poor, the sound is good? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, cool. Do you feel about role plays? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you watch a lot of role plays? You do? Okay. Mm -hmm. What are your favorite types of role plays? Yeah, go ahead. You can just you can just list your favorites if you want. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, would you feel comfortable doing role plays yourself? I know you said in the beginning um, that you'd be interested in making those types of videos, so yeah, I know it can be a little bit daunting at first, but you definitely want to try, yeah. Sometimes I actually find it um, a little bit less nerve-wracking to do role plays because um, you have a structure or a script even if you want to write that out beforehand, and sometimes it can help your flow a little bit when you're making a video. Yeah, but um, you'll get the hang of it with practice, of course. So in terms of video planning, um, are you the type of person to kind of plan things out and organize 
organize yourself before or would you prefer to improvise on the spot yeah when when filming or making a video mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay I just want to get to know you as a creator a little bit more it depends on the video though yeah of course I can understand definitely seem to feel confident, which is good. All right, and my final question for you today, is there anything specific that you would want to be known for as an ASMR creator? I know that's a tricky one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. Yeah. And how do you think you can can achieve that. Okay. Mm. That's really nice. Okay. Well, so far I am very impressed and I think that you tick all the boxes to make a really great ASMR creator for us. So do you have any questions for me? Well now, Bryony and I will take you through a series of triggers as well to give you some training and demonstrations because you have a lot of potential, so we're excited to, to work with you on that. Cool. Alright, well I'll pass you back on to Bryony to, to start that process and then I'll see you in a bit. Okay, thanks. Hello again. I knew you'd make it. How was your questions with Abby? Good? Great. I'm so excited you have made it this far. So we are basically now going to give you some training and demonstration onto some of our favourite triggers. So this part is really, really exciting. Um, myself and Abby will do three triggers, okay? Um, and it's just to give you an idea of what you can do, um, and it's just part of your induction, okay? Good, I'm glad you're excited. So, I just want to firstly say that these are mine and Abby's techniques. Um, every creator is different. And it's good that you have your own twist on things. So we've decided to do our favourite ones and show you. Um, but also remember that, you know, uh, every every grade is different. So you might like how we do it, but when you do it, you might put a little twist on it or do something different and that's okay. Alright? We just want to show you what we do. Okay? So... First of all, I am going to be um, demonstrating uh, different ways you can speak. Okay, now this probably seems quite obvious and easy, but I thought I would just start with that. Okay? Alright. So, there are two types that you could do. There may even be more, but I normally do two. So, I will usually soft speak, and soft speaking is exactly what it is, you know, you're not shouting, you're not speaking normally, you are speaking soft, okay? You can try it if you like, so you can just say, hello, just hello, hello. Hello, hello, okay, and it's just about being calm, and exactly, exactly. Now, other than soft spoken, you can also whisper, okay? So you can just simply I 
whispering whisper 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 so we could try out some trigger words okay so we could do some soft spoken like coconut 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 or whisper You see? So you can also say hello, 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 or hello, hello, hello. Okay, you could do a different intro. You could say hello, my name is Bryony and welcome. Okay, or I could say hello, my name is Bryony. Now, what's really important is that with the both of these, your, the way you speak might change and that's okay, you might, for me personally, whispering, I take longer breaks, or my speech pattern is different, but that's okay. So you could start off in your videos by simply just, um, soft-spoken or whispered, okay? And if you want to, you can mix it up, that's fine, alright? Good, I'm glad we have settled that. Okay, so the next um, demonstration I'm going to show you is one of my uh, most popular um, sort of things that I'm known for, I suppose, um, which are like question videos and questionnaires and that type of thing. So I thought I would show you how to do it, okay? Now, I suggest that you have a clipboard with a bit of paper on, okay? And so what you could do is think of a question, for example. So I'm just going to try this on you, okay? So I've got my clipboard, I've got my pen. Okay, and I've got a question. I'm going to ask, what's your name? Okay? That's the question that I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask you, what is your name? Now, I do not want you to answer. Okay? So, let's try. We are going to do a role play now. Okay? So, what's your name? Your full name, yes. Okay. Good. Alright, I've got it. Thank you. So, did you see how it was really important to ask the question, look, respond, react to what's being said, and then you do the action of writing it down? Good. So it's really important that you actually listen or you obviously pretend that there is someone here, someone here, okay, just like yourself. And it's really important that you, you imagine what they're thinking, what they're saying, and you write it down, okay? That is literally how I do it. Alright. Now. The third demonstration is actually um, one of my favourites and it is just some random objects, random triggers, okay, what you can do. So, the first object I have is my phone. Now, um, so you might get the phone and be unsure what trigger to do. So, I'm going to show you. So you could do this, just by patting it, or you could use your nails, which is one of my favourites. Okay. You can also do it on the other side, and you get a slightly different sound. Now that's what's really good with different objects, is that different sides Different shapes will give you different sounds, so that's also a thing to consider. So we can do tapping just like this, ok? 
Okay, how do you like that sound? Hmm, you do? Me too. I love this sound because it sounds like rain. Like heavy rain and I like it. And you can also do the just the patting. Like that. Okay. Now the next object that I have is a book. Okay. Now it doesn't matter which book, okay? Now pretty much with every object you can tap and tap in. I would probably say it's one of the most common triggers, okay? So with any object, just try tap in and, and see what sound you get. You see how this is similar to this? Because of the different objects. I'm glad you can tell the difference. So you can tap. Okay, now with a book, you can also trace, okay? So you could trace with your finger the words and the letters. Just like this, Michael. Courage. Just like that. And this is Jurassic Park. And you can also, with books, turn the pages, which is one of my favourite triggers. So you could simply just turn pages. Just like this, okay? So it's really good with different objects to try different triggers. Okay, now that was your demonstration and training from me. So this was kind of just like a basic training just to help you understand on like different triggers, different objects and how you can obviously present and speak videos. So I hope you found it useful. Good, good. Well, I could see you nodding, so I'm glad you found this useful. So, uh, that's my, my part done now. Um, Abby is now going to go through your training. Okay, you did really well. You seemed as though you took it in. Now, Abby's training is uh, very different to mine. Okay, but I, I'm sure you will enjoy it. I'm sure you will. It was so lovely seeing you again. Alright. Uh, do you have any questions? No? Good. Okay. Well, don't you worry. Abby will take good care of you. Alright. It was lovely to meet you and to uh, do your training for you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And I really hope it goes well. Alright, alright. Well, I'll see you again soon. Alright. Bye-bye. Hey, it's good to see you again. So, I'm just going to go through a little bit more training with you. And the first thing I want to go over is just some role play techniques, okay? And specifically how you should behave with the camera. So when you are making a role play video, you will be pretending as if the camera is a real person. So it's very important that you are aware of kind of the features on a real person and that you understand the positioning so that it appears very realistic and immersive for your viewer going to provide a demonstration as an example just on you, okay? Just so you can remember and kind of mentally map out yourself where the features are on a person. So you can start by kind of visualizing the face and the head just like this.
because you have two eyes. It's also very important while we're here that you look into the camera lens, okay? When looking into your viewer's eyes, you don't want to look off at any screen or anywhere else on your camera because then that's not a the nose, just like this, and the forehead is just above, just above your lens here, and you can kind of visualize the eyebrows, just like this, and cheeks here, right cheek, left cheek, it's also very important that you make a mental note of your right and left so that it's, again, more realistic your viewers. And just down here is the mouth, the lips, the chin, and the jaw, like this. So you can kind of put your hands on the sides and just feel around the face, like that. And we have the ears. So for this, you just kind of look ears, okay? And this side, the ears, they're kind of in line with the eyes. So you don't want to look too far up or down or too far over to the side. They're cl close to the face like this. And the neck down here. And you have shoulders. It's very easy to assume that the shoulders are much lower, like they would be down here, but it's actually a bit closer bit higher up to where you would assume. So, shoulders like this, and arms. You can just go down like this when feeling someone's arms, for example. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, does that make sense? Is that all okay? Yeah, you'll, you'll definitely get the hang of it and it'll come naturally. But it is a little bit difficult sometimes, you know, when looking at a camera to visualize a face right in front of you, but it gets easier with practice. Cool. Alright, so the next thing I wanted to show you was light triggers. I'll just kind of go over some information about light triggers specifically. So, firstly, here I have a light, and right away you can see this light is kind of cool toned, it's blue. You can experiment with the different tones of lights. So for example, I also brought this warmer toned light with me, so you can see the difference. And sometimes they do give different effects. up to you, which you prefer. And I'm just giving you a little demonstration on some things you can do with lights. I'll just use one while we kind of discuss. So a very common light technique is just to ask your viewer to follow, follow the light as you move it around. are a very common way to integrate light triggers into your videos, as I'm sure you are aware of. Personally, I think eye tests are nice because light triggers, for me, are a little bit more effective when they have a purpose. And they're not just random. That's up to you. You can also go faster. Follow the light. Quick, follow the light, follow the light, follow the light. Good. And 
along the lines of my tests, you can use the kind of screen and the view that your camera picks up to play around with some peripheral vision tests. Kind of bringing the light in, and flashing it at the viewer. When you see the light, okay, just look at my nose. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah. And I'm just giving some positive reinforcement. With the tests that you can do as well. Perfect. Good. Great. Get closer. You can also check out your viewer's eyes, and this is where the kind of camera etiquette comes in to make sure that. you a little bit with the, the warmer light as well. Get a bit closer and further away. How do you feel? But do bear in mind that some people are sensitive to light, so this won't be for everyone. But there is something about it that's really relaxing, so you can definitely experiment with your own. this help you at all and give you some insight into light triggers? Okay, good. I'm glad. So, the last thing I wanted to go over with you is hand sounds. Because this is a very effective trigger that you can incorporate into any of your videos, really. You always have your hands, and it's a good, a good trigger to make a variety of different sounds with. So you can, you can snap like this. Do you want to do it with me? Good. Snap. You can kind of move your hands around. If you're good at snapping, you can actually snap. I'm not so good at it. With ASMR, it's best to, to be a little bit more gentle. Get close to your viewer like this. Focus, focus, focus. And do all sorts of things with the hand sounds that you're making. Go faster. your fingers. It's a very common one. Sounds really nice. Good job. You're very good at that. Good. And we 
you can also clap good and kind of tap on your hand make all sorts of sounds to kind of go over that with you because you can incorporate these sounds into your videos however you like alright so that is all I have for you today in terms of the training we can definitely go over some more triggers and techniques in the future, but this is just to get you started. So um, do let me know or let Bryony know if you have any other questions. But we are really looking forward to having you on board creating ASMR content for us. I think you'll do really great. Alright, cool. Well, thanks so much for your time and I'll see you soon.